Hello everyone, this is Jennifer. So in this video, we're going to look into the next chapter, which is ratio analysis. So our first slide is going to talk about the meaning and definition of ratio analysis. So what is ratio analysis? Basically, it is applied by different companies to the financial statements prepared by the companies in order to analyze whether the company is going on a success, failure or what is the progress of the business. So it is basically a very very fascinating topic. It concentrates more on the interrelationship among the figures which are given in your financial statements. So a ratio is nothing but it is a relationship between two accounting numbers that is derived from your financial statements by dividing one number by the other number. So if you divide one number by the other number, you get something called as ratio. So which tells the relationship between the two numbers. So definition of ratio analysis or a ratio a ratio is the relationship of the amount A to another amount which is B, okay, which are expressed as a ratio of, you can call it as A to B or A is to B, which is basically symbolized or expressed in this way or as a simple fraction, it can either be in fraction, integer, decimal or a percentage. So basically when you are having a ratio, the ratio is basically expressed in different forms. One is time, the other is percentage and the next is proportion. So in time or rate or coefficient, in this form a ratio is basically is of the form a, co a quotient is obtained by dividing one item by another item and the and the resultant is expressed in the form of time for example when sales is divided by stock say it comes up to six times or seven times thus six times is the ratio between the sales and stock so basically it is expressed in times so the ratio the next one is percentage so when you're in this form basically a quotient obtained by dividing one item by the other item after the resultant figure when it is multiplied by 100 it becomes the percentage okay when you multiply the resultant figure with 100 then it will be expressed in the form of percentage the last one is in proportion in this form, basically the amount of the two items are being expressed in a common denominator. For example, when you are supposed to find out the current ratio, okay. So the relationship between current assets and current liabilities are if the form, the ideal ratio is 2 is to 1. So which is in the form of proportion. So moving on to the next slide. The importance of significance of ratios. Why basically ratios are very important in an organization? The first one, it helps in evaluating the financial position of the firm. Ratio analysis are very very important and useful technique in order to check the efficiency or how the working capital is being utilized in an organization. So ultimately it helps in evaluating the financial position and the performance of the organization. With the help of ratios you can easily analyze what is the current liquidity position of the organization or what is the profitability position of the organization etc. Point number two helps in cost control. So when you have ratio analysis or when a company implements ratios through established ideal standard ratios for measuring the performance 
when this is measured the performance of the company is measured obviously to contribute for the cost control wherever the cost is observed so at that time when the company gets to know the cost is over observed in such areas it will try to control its cost in order to improve the efficiency of the organization point number 3 it acts as a medium of communication of financial position of the concern so basically who is mostly interested in knowing about the financial position of the concern the stakeholders of the company like the shareholders the creditors the government etc so this is a very very easy way of communicating what is the financial position of the concern so financial ratios communicate the strength and financial standing of the firm to the internal parties as well as the external parties Point number four helps in financial forecasting. So ratio analysis is very helpful in financial forecasting. Basically, how do we do a ratio? Or how do we estimate or compute a ratio with the help of the past data, the help of the financial statement? So this past data is used for your future trends. So for your future forecasting or for future planning. Point number five facilitates for comparison. ratio facilitates for comparison so with the help of ratio analysis ideal ratios can be composed and they can be easily used for comparison of one particular firm's performance with the other firm's performance point number 6 it acts as a useful tool of analysis of financial performance so ratio analysis are very very helpful in order to analyze what is the financial position or financial health of the concern is a concern prospering what is a concern in profitable situation so they basically highlight liquidity position solvency position profitability position etc which acts as a useful tool of analysis of financial position So our next topic is uses of ratios. So under that point one is utility to management. How is it basically used for the management? Is it profitable to have a ratio analysis in the company or to compute ratio analysis in the company? Let's look into it. So for a management with the help of ratio they can formulate policy, they can forecast for the future, they can plan what needs to be implemented in the future by knowing about different positions of the company financially it helps in decision making knowing the trends of business whether it is prospering or it is going on a down stage measuring efficiency the performance of the company and communicating and controlling so communicating to the stakeholders the internal parties and the external parties and controlling the cost so this overall can be done with the help of ratio and which is useful for the management point number 2 is utility to shareholders so once management knows has so many helpful or useful of the ratio analysis the next is your shareholders so what are how is it basically used or helpful for the shareholders accounting ratio basically helps the investors in selecting the best companies to invest the funds so uh, investor as an investor if you think from an investor point of view you would normally be in knowing what is the financial position of the company because he is going to invest in mo- his money in it so he wants to know what whether the investment is on safety security and profitable etc so at that time accounting ratio basically help the investors in knowing whether the investment is going to be profitable or not okay so the ratios enable the shareholders to evaluate performance of the company and also the future prospects of the company so on the base of some ratios they are able to calculate the prices of their shares also point number 3 is utility to creditors the creditors or suppliers are the external stakeholders of the company so the liquidity ratios basically help in knowing the liquidity position or the short term financial position of the company so the creditors or suppliers are those people who basically supply goods to the firm on credit basis 
they have to know whether they will get their money back for whatever goods they have supplied so by getting to know what is the liquidity position of the company they can analyze whether they will get their money back or not so liquidity ratio basically help in knowing the liquidity position or short term financial position of the company point number 4 is utility to employees so how is it basically useful for the employees so if you look into the profitability ratios it helps in understanding the profits which in turn are related to wages compensation fringe benefits provided to the employees once if the profits are increasing obviously the employees will get whatever benefits they are being told once if the profits are decreasing they are their wages or their salaries are on stick so profitability ratios are completely co important for the employees to know whether they will be getting their wages compensation and fringe benefits or they will there be increase in all such benefits provided last utility to government it basically helps the government in cost structure price implementation and helps them to protect the consumers so the government uses ratio analysis for studying the cost structure of the company so on the basis of the study the government can also formulate the various policies it can implement the price control measures to protect the interest of the consumers moving on to the next topic which is the limitations as a coin has both two sides every topic or every aspect or will have two sides one of say one is the advantages the other one is your limitations so limitation the first one is when implementation of different accounting policies for different concerns makes it difficult for the comparison so when the ratios of two concerns are being compared it should be remembered that different concerns may follow different accounting policies so at that time it will be very difficult to compare it so which is a one of the limitation the second one is the reliability of ratios depends upon the correctness of the data so if the financial statement itself is incorrect then the ratios are on toss point number 3 an individual ratio may itself be meaningless so an individual ratio may itself be meaningless only when it's compared with another ratio then it has some meaning point number 4 account absence of standards and precise definition accounting ratios and the terms used to calculate such ratios basically do not have any standards or precise definitions so based on every company's aspect they do the ratios or compute the ratios thank you everyone